Hey everyone, so today was going to be a quick video on how to show you how to use the pop bottle um, waterers. Um, you can get them from Stromberg's Chickens. Um, that's where I got mine. I got the 12 pack because you never know when you're going to need more. And they're great for just adding on to cages if you're building out some cages. And um, I have them on my rooster quail condo, so I will show you that after I'm done showing you this. But I didn't really see anything on the internet on how to actually use these, what bottles are best, and stuff like that. So, you're going to want, um, well, I'll start with this. You get this in the kit, and you get 12 of these. So you got 12 springs and then 12 actual waterers. I suggest getting some small clips. I got these, they come in the two-pack on at Hobby Lobby. Um... I usually get them, they're Soology brand, Soology, so you can probably find them, I would wait until they're on sale, because stuff always cycles back around at Hobby Lobby for stuff to be half off, so when Soology stuff is half off, these will be like uh, a buck or two for a two-pack, they have a couple different styles, but these small clips work really great, you can't really find this small of a clip anywhere else, so that's this strong. So, I would suggest that. Um, one side of the spring will clip onto the cage. The other side is where you want to actually clip this onto. So, it just clips just like that. So, that way you go from the cage around the bottle, and then you clip it back to the cage with the clip. So, that is that. The bottles. You will absolutely want to use pop bottles. Um, and also, water bottles will work if they are from a pop company. And the reason is you need the the length of the threading here. So what I do to get my bottles ready is I of course wash them out and then I find you can use scissors or you can use a steak knife. I have found that using a steak knife is easier to go under the label and pop it. That way you can always see what the water level is because when you know you leave the label on you um you can't always see how much water you have in here when it's from here to here, so that's kind of important. Um, this will stay on there, but that's fine. And I'll show you why in a second. And then what we need to do also is take this little part of the ring off. Get these out of here. So you want to take that part of the ring off so that this will actually go all the way down. So these are my tin snips that I use for... Um, cutting my cages and my trim coil and stuff. The, I just found that they're the easiest um, way to cut these off. And of course I struggle now that I'm doing a video. But just need to, sometimes it takes a couple cuts. And there we go. So I got the ring off. And that can be discarded. You will not need the caps. Caps can just be recycled. So, as we can show you, it snaps. You hear that nice big snap? So it snaps all the way down. What I like to do then is make sure that this side with the label is pointed towards the cage. That way I have like, I can see all the way around, see how much water is in here. But the next thing you do is you just fill it up with water and you can go pretty much all the way to the top it doesn't matter pop this in carry it that way to the cage and then you're going on to flip it this way towards the cage so it won't start filling until it's absolutely upside down so flip it this way and it starts filling. Probably can't see it in there, but the cup has water in it now. So, but you want to flip it that way. Let me flip it back over. So again, you want to flip it this way. So then it starts filling up. And I'll go show you how to do that on the cage. Okay, so I'll show you on this one. Set that one down. So let me see, can you see it? Yeah. So 
can see I have this attached by the spring there and it's got the clip on the end and then you're going to want to put it forward like that wrap the spring around and clip it to the cage and then it's already filled with water and that rooster has fresh water now okay so as you can see all of my Roosters have those on there. Get more of a detail. And this is one inch, one inch wire here, so it fits perfectly inside there. And it's got those little stoppers on the plastic that stop it from going all the way in the cage. So I'm gonna bring you back inside so the roosters don't keep yelling. And then uh, something else I like to do get this on video here, is uh, when I clean these, um, I flush, so you just like push on the bottle and it kind of flushes. So I flush these. Um, the quails will always end up pooping in them, so I like to flush them out that way and then every so often I'll actually take them in the house and I have a special scrubby just for quail stuff and um, I will actually scrub them out, get them nice and clean for them. Uh, but yeah, that's about it with these waters. They're great water to just add to cages. Um, you know, if you need something quick and in there. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I hope it's helpful for someone. In the next video. Bye-bye.